so right now we are logged on to this galaxy looking nice we have staked about 81 frames and ignored 10 about 33 minutes 45 seconds so far looking good really nice details uh, I'll put the shot in the video so tracking is going okay mine this is wedge by stock mount Celestron's stock mount on a wedge and it's doing some drama in between but going good like and the details about the galaxy is we are in sterilium now the telescope is almost like going vertical in the sky that is the live view live 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 view so another day another dollar we have set up everything everything is nicely set up and now we are waiting for uh, sun to properly go down it's almost gone but yeah another day is uh, uh, exploration of the skies and heavens so this dog most of the time this this adventure most of the time is about like the journey it's not the destination like you out on your camping chair and chilling in the open close to nature um, so we're gonna as soon as it gets dark we're gonna start uh, calibrating everything uh, calibrating a uh, refractor the refractor the small one small tube is the refractor guiding scope we're gonna calibrate that with a big scope on some star and then we're gonna calibrate like we're gonna make sure that red dot refractor guider and the main scope they all pointing in the same direction when we start our journey we're gonna do three star four star alignment and then we're gonna do a polar alignment i'm gonna try to record as much as i can in this video in detail so stay tuned see you in a bit so i'll quickly show you my setup so this is laptop connected to the mount and the cameras so this telescope is so this video I'm going to show you what I got what my setup is so this telescope is 8 inch uh, reflector telescope and a good light bucket and this one is a red dot scope this one is laser light and this one is a small reflector guider and this camera is cooled camera specially made for astrophotography it has cooling system in it you can bring down temperature on the book till minus 30 uh, this work this camera is for the refractor for the guiding scope this telescope is made by Celestron and you need power station this power station is about 550 watt hour uh, lipo batteries power station it can give you about eight to nine hours of uh, power constant power for everything including laptop and everything and this is my setup and yeah so now we are doing our first star alignment so I'm gonna see if I can uh, so it depends what telescope you use, what softwares, combination of softwares you use. But uh, I'm using a Celestron telescope mount, so I'm using this particular software. So we're gonna go to Formal Hall, Formal Hall, and Slew. The telescope is slewing to Formal Hall. So 
for now it says center it in the uh, scope once you go there so now we're gonna center it I use my Xbox controller to make it easy now we're gonna center it in this scope so I centered uh, in that low scope and now I'm gonna see in the video uh, if it is centered if not then we're gonna manually center it a little bit here a little bit here a little bit here It is a process like I have to do like three four stars like this So a telescope moves with the rotation of earth Okay, now it's pretty much centered But it's going away that is not good so we need to make sure it stays there yep that's perfect and we're gonna click centered now this one star is centered now I'm gonna do repeat this process for at least three more stars and get back to you so Alfred is here in the frame we just need to bring it to center Pretty much centered, but not happy with a uh, little bit up. I already did polar alignment, so you have to do polar alignment, you have to do star alignment, and only then, only then your mount can track properly. Centered saying a little bit red but it will be fixed once I do the third star so now we are focusing on a random star this star happens to be calf so we are using bat nerve mask which is a special mask that you put on the top of your telescope and that's bat nerve it's called bat nerve mask Pronunciation can be tricky for a foreigner <laughs> But yeah, you gotta make sure that all three lines from both stars are equal distance at equal distance and that will uh, Give you the best possible focus on the deep sky objects And I'm incrementing and coming out of focus for 10 steps per click and yeah So finally we have logged into uh, logged on to this uh, galaxy and uh, I'm taking like uh, 30 seconds exposures long exposures and gain is at 280 and that's the galaxy we shooting right now and let me turn off my that's the galaxy that is the galaxy that I'm shooting currently and frames are being captured and awesome like it's right up like straight up straight up the telescope is almost like going vertical in the sky that is the live view live 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 view 30 seconds exposures gain 280 and frames are rolling live galaxy view 
loving it, loving it. Each frame is bringing more detail of uh, this galaxy and uh, it's getting better and better with each frame. That's the histo histogram. Um, yeah, going good. So right now we are logged on to this galaxy, <laughs> looking nice. We have staked about 81 frames and ignored 10. About 33 minutes, 45 seconds, and we doing um, uh, 25 seconds frames at 300 gain. And the thermals are minus five. So camera is going to minus five to cool down and so far looking good really nice details uh, I'll put the shot in the video so tracking is going okay mine this is wedge by stock mount Celestron's stock mount on a wedge and it's doing some drama in between but going good like and the details about the galaxy, we are in Sterilium now. So I show you what the galaxy is. So this is the galaxy that we are shooting right now. And this one, and it should look like this. Post-processing, and I don't know what galaxy it is. Uh, there's not many details available. I've logged on to a star, nearby star, and this is how I framed it in the um, sharp cap. So this is like we are doing live stacking. And so far, good. I'm satisfied with this. Uh, like a telescope on a wedge like come on like asking too much I'm gonna record it from the other side because if I turn on my flashlight then it's gonna affect everything so it's on a wedge on a wedge can you believe it and it's good like using and utilizing stock mount and everything <sighs> loving it loving it